How's it going? This video is going to be talking about histograms and how to display data in a histogram. So let's just go ahead and get started. So here we have a stem and leaf plot over on the left displaying numerical data. Hopefully you know how to read a stem and leaf plot. This 2 right here is actually representing 52. This 6 right here is actually representing 56 and so on. This number right here, this 7 down here is representing 97. So the tens places are over here in the stem and the leaves are the ones digits. This 4 right here is representing 74. We're going to take this information and display it over here in a histogram. The big mistake kids make is that they'll just directly run, hey, there's three numbers here, I'm going to put three numbers here. Sometimes that works, but other times you have to double check the other rows, and you'll see why in a moment. So 51 to 60, well, these numbers are in the 51 to 60 range. So, hey, three numbers, that's 52, 56, 58. Those three are in here. So I'm going to go ahead and color in this bar. It's going three high. Notice how it's the, the number of people, it's numbered two, four, six, eight. So three people would be halfway between two and four. The next one, 61 to 70. Well, these are all in the 61 to 70 range. But then you also need to check the next row because 70 is in this row. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six items in the 61 to 70 range. Next we have the 71 to 80 range. And well, there's this one in the 71 to 80 range. Nothing over here. So we're just going to have one. So that's going to be halfway, half of the first box. Half of one box. Because one box represents two people. 81 to 90. Nothing else down here. So that's just going to be four people. And then 91 to 100. Well, we have all of these. That represents 91, 91, 93, 95, 97. And we also have these two down here. Those are 200s. There's 100, there's 100. So that's a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 items. So we're going to shade up there. And there you go. That's how you display the data. We'll do another lesson on how to read this and how to analyze it. But right now we're just talking about construction. We're going to do about three more examples. Here's another one. So take this data, transfer it over here. So we have 51 to 60. Well, those three are in the 51 to 60 range, but also the next row. That's a total of four. 61 to 70. We've got these three, four, nothing in the next row. There's no 70s, so it's just going to be those four. 71 to 80. It's just those four. 81 to 90, well, we've got these three, and then we've got another one over here. So that's 81 to 90, and that's four again. Finally, we have 91 to 100, 91 to 100. That's going to be four of them here and another one here. It's a total of five. So there's your histogram filled in. Moving on, hopefully you're catching on to these. Two more examples. We have the stem and leaf plot over here, and we're going to display it in the histogram. 51 to 60, we've got these four and one more. It's a total of five. 61 to 70, it's just these four. 71 to 80, well, it's just these four. There's nothing in the next row. 81 to 90, now there's nothing here. So a lot of kids might leave this blank. But when it says 90 is the maximum value for this column, you'd also have to look over here. And there is one. So you're going to put half a block because each block represents two people. And then you've got the 91 to 100. That's going to be these five and one more. So you're going to have a total of six shaded for that. Two, four, six blocks. So that represents six people scoring in the 91 to 100 zone. Moving on, we have our final tables here. We have the stem and leaf plot. We have the histogram. 
51 to 60, it's going to be these four. It's 51, 52, 56, 58. That's four pieces of data that are in this range. 61 to 70, that's these three. 63, 65, 68. 71 to 80, you're going to have these four items plus two more in the next row because that represents 80 and another 80. So that's a total of six items. 81 to 90, you've got these two here, but then you also have the row in 90. So that's going to be a total of three. Finally, 91 to 100, you've got one, two, three, four, five of them. And nothing in the hundreds row. Nobody, if this, these were test scores, no one scored 100 on this test. Must have been a tough test. All right, so that's a total of five in that zone. That is about it. I hope this helps. Best of luck to you.